Welcome back now. Author and NBC senior reporter Selima Henok will be launching her book titled My Nakedness next week on the 10th of October at the National Theatre of Namibia. Now the book provides a heartfelt and moving narrative of her life journey tracing her origins from the modest streets of Riobot. Selima Henok now joins us in studio to shed more light on this book. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. And welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay. Now, the book is titled My Nakedness. Yeah. Talk to us about, it talks about your childhood, family, divorce and career. What inspired you to pen this all down? Thank you. Um, so, uh, you, the book will be launched at the National Library of Namibia, North Theatre, okay. just to correct that. Mm. So um, my nakedness, basically, I was going through a, a dark process in my life, and then I started to just note down my, 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 my feelings and my thoughts as a form of healing. And then I started to see that it was forming um, into something that, that can get into a book. Then I added my childhood, I added um, just my family, and then the process of just um, uh, being married and divorces well. So um, I, I started to lay bare my, uh, my thoughts and my feelings, hence why I titled it My Nakedness, because I felt like I was being naked as I was sharing my story out there, because when you are naked, you think of somebody who, who, who's revealing so much of themselves, of themselves, I mean, so that's why I decided to, to title it My Nakedness. Now, you are an actor. Now we officially confirm you are an author. <laughs> uh, but my nakedness, you know, saying it's, it's, it's quite interesting and very catchy. I pr presume that, you know, children can be able to read because there's no nudity in it. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, very well. yes. Now, you, you speak of the challenges that you face, such as a professional adults, difficulties mm. in your marriage, mm. experience of bullying and moments of suicidal thoughts. Now, we know that this month is uh, the month is it suicide month mm -hmm. and we have people who are struggling with this kind of thoughts but from yeah. your own personal experience possibly from you and possibly to a person that is watching now might possibly mm -hmm. be going through the same process what would be your message to them or talk to us about your story how you overcame yeah. those thoughts I think when we are in a dark space, sometimes we feel like we can never be able to overcome it. And I think my faith also played a very a major role because I relied on God for me to be able to get out of the dark place where I was. And at that moment, when you feel so overwhelmed with issues of life, sometimes you just feel like I'm not able to get out of this situation, but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so I think um, going through uh, those processes that I was going through, in that moment, of course, there was a time where I felt like this will not pass. And I felt like I've lost hope. I felt like I, I could not be able to get out of this um, situation. But today I can sit here and say that it is possible. Uh, whatever you are going through, it's not something that will last. It's just a phase. And there will be a time that will be able to, st um, to stand strong and say that, wow, I was able to go through this. And here I am today. Mm -hmm. And then also just the fact that you learn from the experiences. Every time you go through a certain phase, you become stronger and you are able to deal with your emotions better. So don't give up. Um, it's not the end of the time. I mean, at the end of the journey of whatever situation that you are going through. Indeed, this mm. too shall pass. So yes. it's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay yeah. to stay that way. Exactly. Uh, writing this uh, book must, you know, containing the different elements of your life, probably must have not have been easy, you know, obviously yeah. also coming out and exposing all the, you know, revealing all the things that you are going through. Mm. Which chapter in this book possibly was the most difficult to, to pen down? I think relationships, mm. hey, <laughs> um, not just uh, when it comes to opposite sex, but also relationships in my career as well. But if it comes to um, talking about relationship and the process of my marriage before I got married, inside the marriage and after the marriage, I think that was a very difficult uh, moment for me. And also just the fact of um, going back to my childhood, because there were also traumas with itself, with, within itself as well, mm -hmm. because I had to now think of, I had to deal with such certain issues that I didn't deal with when I was a child while writing this whole um, whole book because it has to do with um, growing up in object poverty or our house was made of oil, oil barrels and then you wake up um, 
sub, when it rains, you wake up in the pool of water. So it was those difficulties and also just the fact that I felt like um, maybe just blaming my parents as well. Why do I have to be in such a situation as a mm. child? You are mm. hungry. Um, you, 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 you have to feed for yourself, stealing and also just finding ways to feed yourself because there was really not so much um, that our, my parents could afford to give me. So I had to make peace with that and also forgive them that they were also just not able to um, to come through because they couldn't also and they were also in a difficult um, uh, moment. So it's a couple of chapters chapters that I can put together and also just finding uh, creating a relationship with God because I remember one day I was so hungry I think I was maybe seven or six or so and I, was, I remember being in our yard um, just praying to God to help me find a, a one dollar to go and buy a fat cake because I was so hungry the fat cakes were like 22 cents that time and um, I didn't get the one dollar that, that, that day or that moment but the next morning the same spot where I was praying I came to find that one dollar I don't know if somebody put it there but look Looking at the environment where I was growing up, there was not really so much. For that also taught me that God will come through. It might not come through the time that I want, but it will come through um, in, in ways that I can never imagine, even if it's late. So that also built my relationship with Hence God. Hence, I say his timing is not necessarily your timing. Yes, yeah, exactly. It does his own timing. Now, let's talk about the. what do you hope this book that's titled My Nakedness will have on your readers? Yeah, I think it's just uh, not to say that you have to take my experiences and make them your own because everybody has their own journey and path mm -hmm. to walk. But maybe just how I navigated set certain situations um, to be able to, uh, you know, find my way. Maybe you can learn one or two things, pick up from the experiences that I had, that you don't need to go through them again. But whatever, for me, it's just to impact wisdom and for those that can pick up one or two things that they can apply into their lives, it will make a difference to me. Indeed. Now let's talk about that. The launch is taking place next week, you said, mm. at the National Library of Namibia. Yes. What are the logistics? What time yeah. do we start? Mm. For those that might want to attend, is there a fee? And yes. what is the process? So it will be next week, Thursday. We'll mm. start um, at 6.30. It's a glam affair. It will be a glamorous affair. And also just a, a way of celebrating Namibian authentic stories, eh? Um, because we don't really get to hear much of it. So it's just a, uh, we are just coming together to celebrate Namibia's, Namibia's literature because we have uh, authors that are also coming to speak. We have the executive director from the Ministry of Education, Arts and, and Culture, Dr. Lisho Mundia, who will be launching the book mm. and of the tickets um, the book itself is 200 and uh, the entrance at, 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 at the venue is 200 as well but if you want to buy the book and, the, and be part of, of, of the book launch as well it's 350 or you can contact me at 081 uh, 08 -11 -44 -0704. What time is the show starting? And just repeat yeah. that number again. Uh, it's starting at 6.30. Okay. And that my number is 0811-440704. Well, Selena, thank you very much for making time to speak to us this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. Now, that was a Selena Henock, who is an author and NBC senior reporter, talking about the launch of a book titled My Nakedness, which will take place on the 10th of October 2024, which is next week, Thursday, at the Nash Namibian National Library of Namibia. The starting time is at 6.30. Should you want wish to buy the book, you can buy it for 200 And the entrance at the launch is also 200 But should you wish to attend the launch and buy the book at the same time, that is 350 you can be able to conduct it on 0811 should you wish to engage further. Now stay tuned. GMN continues with more engagement after this break.